This is the character of Sir Roger de Coverley, portrayed by Joseph Addison in the Spectator Coverley papers. Sir Roger de Coverley, no doubt, he is an imaginary character. Imaginary character, he is uh, an important member of the Spectator Club and he has many qualities in himself. But uh, his uh, behavior is very strange, okay. His behavior is very strange in the church. He is the member of the club. As a good churchman, he is a very good churchman. He is a very praiseworthy churchman because he has beautified, he has decorated inside the church. Even he has uh, spent a lot of money to make uh, the church beautiful, decorated and uh, at his own expenses he has given several things to church, the cushions, the pulpit uh, and uh, even uh, he has erected a railing also. He has made the sitting very comfortable. He has uh, given many common prayer books to the people. He has employed a tutor also to make people how to pray in the church. And uh, he uh, works for the church, for example, as I have told that he has employed a teacher and uh, he always do this and that only for the welfare of the church to motivate the people to come to it. And he has decorated, e decorated even the walls, even the inside part of the church, selected several texts, several quotations from the holy book, the Bible. And no doubt Sir Roger G. Coverley is a very humorous character and we find very strange behavior of him when he is in the church. And his humorous behavior can be seen very well when he will tolerate nobody to sleep in the congregation. But he himself has a short nap at sermon and thereafter he suddenly gets up, looks about him, if he sees anybody sleeping, he either wakes him himself or sends his servants for the same. So Sir Roger G. Coverley behaves very strange in the church because he does not uh, allow to sleep anyone during sermon and uh, he himself sleeps, he himself uh, makes a lot of noise but nobody is allowed it to speak, to talk or to make any kind of noises. So the character of Sir Roser is presented in a humorous way. His eccentricities in the church, his oddities, okay, another characteristics in the character of Sir Roser de Coverley that he, when, whenever all the people, they are bent down, they are making prayer, at once Sir Roser stands up and he starts to count the people, whether who, who all is absent or present. And he says three or four times, so he repeats Amin again and again. When the people are silent, he prays and when the people prays, he keeps silence. So this is a, a very odd behavior of Sir Roser in the church. His relation with the chaplain is very good. There is a lot of mutual understanding between both and Sir Roser has been appreciated for this by Joseph Addison. And why he has been appreciated for this? Because there was not a good relation of neighboring villages priest. And Sir Roser has been appreciated for this because it is for the welfare, for the good welfare of the villagers if there are good relationship between the priest and the square. No doubt uh, Sir Roser is a very gentleman in his behavior. He is very kind hearted and he has a very caring nature because he cares of all the followers and he keeps focusing on them whether they are absent or whether they are taking interest in the church activities or not. So by heart he is very soft, he is a very gentleman and this is why that he is loved by all. His uh, inspiring motivational nature is that he always, he keeps trying to motivate the young men, the boys, the village people 
to take interest in the activities of the church and for this he keeps them giving Bible copies, he keeps sending gifts to their houses and he even increases the salary of the clerk of the village church so that other young men may have interest and he also says that uh, when there will be a post vacant in the church of a clerk of a priest the priest will be selected on the basis of the merit so this inspires this motivates all the village people now the authority of sir roser is that uh, he is he is uh, followed by all the followers whatever he says whatever he commands uh, that is fulfilled and that is uh, completed by his tenants so no doubt that uh, sir roser is a very remarkable character and uh, he uh, he is a mixture of both of oddities and of uh, virtues also and uh, he is he is rather beloved than esteemed he is loved by all his followers and this is why that they never pay their attention to his oddities to his strange behavior because they know very well that he is very kind hearted and whatever sir roser does does only for their welfare so this was the character of sir roser de coverley in brief